Greetings, everybody. It's me, Serena, again, back with another vlog. This one is number 76. As you can see, new hair. It's blonde now. Awesome. And new t-shirt. Well, it's not really new, but if you haven't seen it, <laughs> and the, I know you can't read it because it's mirrored, but it says, Come to the dark side. We have cookies. <laughs> And, okay, so, it's back to the question-answer vlogs that I was doing before I did the Kim Petras one. This one, sent in from a viewer, asks, what I learned from my vlogs, why I started doing them in the first place, uh, what regrets I have, and what I want the world to remember about me if this were to be my last video. So, first of all, what did I learn from my vlogs? Well, I learned it's not as hard to make videos as I once thought. It's actually pretty fun, and I've learned there are a lot of awesome people out there, and there are a lot of people out there that aren't so awesome. It just, just takes finding the right people awesome ones instead of the crappy ones, something like that. I've also learned that sometimes it doesn't hurt to take a risk, and sometimes it does hurt to take a risk, and I've also learned that never, ever, ever be too quick to trust anyone, because there's some real freaking bitches out there that will betray you just to satisfy their own ends. So beware. Be wary. Okay, and why did I start doing them in the first place? Well, because I had been watching videos on YouTube quite regularly, because I had just gotten high-speed internet at the time, and I was seeing a lot of videos from transsexual people, using it as an adjective now, And most of them were pretty good, but I thought, you know what, I think I can do better. So I just decided to, to try and prove it, basically. Didn't really think these vlogs were going to become anything. Didn't think I'd ever get any fans. Didn't think I'd get over 1,500 subscribers. Didn't think uh, anything would happen. I, would, I was saying to myself when I pressed record the first time, I'm lucky if I get past three videos. Because no one's going to watch them. No one's going to care. No one's going to... No one's going to subscribe. No one's going to give a crap. Sometimes it's nice to be proven wrong. Actually, I'm usually proven wrong all the time, so I don't care. But anyway, that's why I started doing them. Gotta get people out there. Gotta try and give back to communities. Let people know what's happening. Try and help them as they have helped me. And all that good stuff. Regrets from doing my videos? I don't really have any regrets. I mean, nothing really bad has come out of it. Except for Tamsin. I regret that. That's my only regret. <laughs> my one and only regret from doing these videos is that one single person. But I did get some nice friends out of the deal. I wonder where they are. I haven't talked to them in a while. Oh well. <laughs> So, anyway, what I want the world to remember if this is my last video. Well, I want the world to remember that uh, I came, I saw, I lived, I loved, I gave it my best shot, and the world kicked me in the face. So, yeah. I tried my best. That's all I can say. That's all you can do. Try your best. And going back to regrets, I do have another regret. I regret saying things. I regret those videos that I made where I was all weepy and moany and, and pissed off and yelling and saying horrible things. I mean, I don't... I don't... I'm not going to take the videos down because, you know, they're numbered and 
they're kind of a, a pivotal part in my life. But I'm really sorry for saying things to people I know I shouldn't have. I know I shouldn't have. I know it was wrong. But <laughs> my emotions get the best of me sometimes, and I was really, really, really upset. It actually helped to kind of get some of the stuff off my chest, though. So, I mean, all I can say is that I'm really sorry for that. I mean, I, I, I couldn't help it at the time, but now that I've thought about it and reflected on it, I'm, I'm sorry. And I hope that whoever I pissed off has, uh, you know, it's big enough to forgive me because I really am sorry. Um, that's all I got for right now, I guess. I do have a little bit of news, though, before I go. A couple short things here. Um, if you're following my vlogs, you know that last vlog I made was not numbered, and it was just a big shout-out to Kim Petrius because I think she's awesome. still think she's awesome, by the way. Because, well, not because of this, but in addition to this, uh, her manager actually saw that video, which I thought was one in a million chance that, that would happen. And she forwarded it to Kim. Kim watched it, and I also got some autographs, like I was hoping I could get someday. <laughs> and like I said, they are my prized possession. Yesterday, when I picked them up, I just sat there and, you know, just I have something in my hand that has Kim Petra's DNA on it. So, so cool. She has actually touched this. There's probably some of her skin cells on it. <laughs> but just like I said, I put them under glass. They're hanging on my wall, and they are my prized possessions. I took them off to show them off in this video. I got the regular, the standard, you know, little little thing here. There's Kim doing the whole, you know, thing with the autograph and, you know, little little message to me. There's also a little uh, note on the back of this, which you can't see because it's covered by the frame. But, yeah, it was really, really, really cool. And, um... It was kind of embarrassing that she saw this vlog. I mean, here's this person she's never met before, this stupid little freak in the middle of North America, going on and on and on about how awesome she is, and she doesn't know me, and yet I went on and on for like 10 minutes about how cool she is. But to prove how cool she is, she found a way, which was really, really creative on her part, on how to get a picture of us together. Check that out. Uh, I'm, I'm assuming that's either a computer screen or an iPad or some sort of tablet. Uh, that's my last vlog with the old hair, um, and that's her leaning up against the screen. <laughs> so we got our picture taken together. That is so so awesome, and yeah, it's this is signed as well. It's got a it's it's a regular photograph. It's not just some stupid thing. I mean, and um, last Thursday I believe at eight o'clock. Her time, 2 o'clock this time, she was on Ustream, which if you don't know what Ustream is, it's basically a little program. It's kind of like YouTube, only it's live. This is recorded and then uploaded, but this is live. This is streaming video, and she was on, and so, I, you know, and there's a chat, so you can sit there and talk to her while she's speaking back, and, you know, I, I told her about it, and she told me that there was probably going to be a little something special uh, with her autograph. And this is it. So freaking cool. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Love, 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 love. So that's awesome. I like these frames too. They're, they're pretty. They're sparkly and twinkly. But anyway, yeah. So that's these. Awesome. Anyway, uh, last bit of news I have. The manager that um, I'm under the night crew manager at work is retiring soon. So, um, position's going to be open. I am going to apply for it, I think. I'm pretty sure I'm going to. I'm not going to get it. I don't really want it per se, but usually if you apply for stuff like that and you don't get it, you get some pretty nice constellation prize. Before, when they had the assistant manager job, the two people that didn't get it, one got regular time uh, status and one got a dollar an hour extra pay. So, if I can get one of those, I'm good. But even if I do get the job, at least I'll be uh, full-time status, 
which I don't know how a company like that gets away with it because any other state, I think making me work like about an average of 38 hours a week and calling me part-time would be illegal because I don't get bonuses, I don't get paid vacations, I don't get insurance, I don't get shit <laughs> because I'm just part-time. I'm not part-time, I work full-time hours. Stop screwing me over just because you can. It's not polite. So, anyway, I'm going to give a try for it. If the person I think is going to get it gets it, it'll still be good because I'm still good with her. <laughs> I won't get it because, basically, um, I don't take any shit from people. Um, I'm not that good with working with customers. Um, I'm not well liked at work and... The last bit, it's because I don't talk to the assistant manager anymore. Because he still hasn't apologized. That's all I want. That's all I want. It's not too much to ask. Just apologize for your wrongdoing. Everything's good. Even though forgiveness is something I'm not real familiar with. But still, apologize. If you're wrong, apologize. That's all I ask. But... He hasn't done that yet, so I don't talk to him. And the manager and assistant manager usually should have good communication between each other. How hard can the manager job be? All I need to do is learn how to check, learn how to do all the different department counters, and then all I have to do is be able to take an ass chewing from the day managers on a regular basis. I can do that. I can get my ass chewed. Just smiling on. Yeah. Totally right. You're totally right. But we're still not going to do it. So anyway, yeah. Still trying to get in at Best Buy. Next week I'm going to go bug them. So we'll see what happens there. Also trying to get my friend over here to spend some fun times going to an amusement park and going to the Mall of America to do some hardcore shopping. But she won't answer me. So I'm guessing that's a no. Oh well. <laughs> Guess I won't be showing off my car this year. Oh well. Next year, maybe I can get like the rotors retouched up and get new rims. Then I'll like, keep it living better and then I can just find someone to with, whatever. Anyway, that's about all I have for right now. I'm not sure when I'm going to do another vlog because um, if the manager leaves, instead of having two people, Missing, in short, will be four people. Because the bitch that's only there to flirt with him is going to leave when he does. So, it's going to be some long days. I'll try to keep you posted. I'll try to keep doing these uh, answers. But, I will get to them. So, thank you for watching. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And comment. Comment, send me messages, uh, send me stuff. I mean, I used to get tons of messages to my vlogs, and all of a sudden, I get nothing. It used to be like two hours within posting, and there'd be like five comments. There's nothing now. And I don't hardly ever get any mail. I don't get anything. And I want, I want stuff to answer. I want stuff to do. You know, World of Warcraft can only hold you over for so freaking long. So comment, comment, whatever you have to say. If you hate my hair... Comment. Tell me that. Um, if you have any suggestions for further vlogs, comment. You know, whatever. Actually, if you hate my hair, please don't comment because this took me a long, long time. And I'm kind of sensitive about it. So if you like my hair, comment. <laughs> so that's all I have for right now. I will see you next time. So until then, peace out, everybody. And again, thanks for watching.